Hello, hello everybody, it's for Prof Shop and we're back again with a new set video. This is Star Slap Review Tot Edition. Okay, it's Starfield, obviously. I've played a little bit of it, but I'll let you know as we go on about hey, it. I'm hey, sure it's gonna sisters. the Seth points are gonna be up. Let me tell you a What's up, Seth? Of the future. Yeah. In the future, white boys can finally Damn. jump with the help of a booster pack and of course Big jump. gravity. Humanity yep. has spread across the stars in their multitudes Ooh. of diverse races and oh. cultures. What the hell? Damn, that is one hardy head. Thanos? What are you doing, Thanos? Is that... Is that... The... He... He... He man? Oh, brother. The Red Guard. The the, was that Trump? What, was that a black Trump? Guard, the sons of Yakub, Hispanic sons of Yacoub. honorary Aryans, and the Fingolian Chindonesians now populate the vast expanse. How racist is that? Actually, we never did find a solution for automation. So of in the course future, not. The only career Ooh. paths are uh, space pirate, space pirate with a voice filter, or religious extremist. Parents send children away <laughs> with teary eyes, knowing full well their offspring will grow up to become murderous bandits before Damn. putting on their own helmets and shooting up the 7 Eleven. And the PS5 still. Still has no games. That vision is already here, Star. Damn, he does have some now, right? Sisters, because the Bro, best game okay. ever made. Listen, there's a lot of bad things about Starfield, but one of the only things that I enjoyed about the game was this: the combat in the ships felt good, and creating your ships. I'm gonna be honest, with you, I enjoyed that system. I enjoyed that system the most. It was very fun. I enjoy that immensely. Now, the best game that will ever Nicholas be made is already out, and there's no competition. Baldur's Damn. Gate, <laughs> more like free hour, unskippable gay sex scene. Starfield, a masterpiece where I could. Where? Where can I find that set? Asking for a friend. Of live course. out my fantasy of being a Bangladeshi man with a ten eyes. Starfield Damn. wins the game of the year for their food models alone. They Just look, look good though. At the grease on that sausage. Yeah. That's the difference ray tracing makes in a game like this, which runs buttery smooth on no, my forty ninety, pushing. Does it? Oh, okay. A blazingly fast seventeen frames a second. Damn. I'm quite fine with this, since, according to the science, the human eye can only see twenty four <laughs> frames a second. Sometimes my saves. Is that how it goes? get corrupted and I lose Damn. progress. But in my deep unhappiness, I realize Red I mile. get to have those unforgettable experiences all over again. We must imagine that we are Sisyphus, uh, pushing the S boulder forever uphill. We're Sissy what? For all over again, we must imagine that we are Sisyphus, uh, oh, that's pushing the, the boulder dude. forever uphill. Yeah, for I remember struggle, that. Dude. We find meaning. Ask not what Todd Howard can do for you, but instead what you can do for Todd Howard. A Damn. good game has memory. Yeah, I haven't seen Todd in a little bit. He changed, brother. God damn, Todd. Characters, but an amazing game oh, is God, one Sarah. where you don't. Bro, Sarah, this I I'm gonna be honest. I had her as a companion for a little bit. I I gotta say I'm into older women. I mean, who isn't strong older women? Eh, bro, this bit, she made me want to kill her, and you couldn't. You cannot kill her. You can't? I've tried multiple times. I hate this woman. Fuck. Remember a single person at all. Starfield is to role playing what dementia is to the elderly. The strongest skill in this game, following tradition, is <laughs> persuasion, which lets you of walk course. away from the last fight by saying, What if we don't? This system oh, works by stringing how it random works. sentences together with a cadence of a crackhead <laughs> until the recipient gets visibly uncomfortable and leaves. Oh, Something shit, that Hyfleet would shamelessly steal. The true purpose of persuasion, however, is to Damn. gaslight companions. Sarah is strongly opposed to the harm of innocent people. So, Appropriately, in the style of a cartel execution, Dude, I ventilate someone's cranium. She screams at me. Bro, that looks so bad. How did? How is the combat still like this? Like, brother. The hell is the matter with you? I persuade her that I'm sorry and I'm going to do better. I'm not sure there's anything you can say at this point. He's gonna do it again. As I can see the future. That sounds. I suppose that's possible. Is it Sarah? Her voice actor is Look. good though. As I realize I like her voice. can be rough, so I'm going to let this go for now. And then I do it again. I accept who you are. <laughs> I'm just not sure I can travel with you on this path you've chosen. This is single-handedly the it. most entertaining thing in this game. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let me get into it. The thing I hate about this game the most is okay. I played like I didn't play that much of it. I played like 
15, 20, 10, 15, 20 hours. Around that shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was waiting for the Skyrim feeling to come back. The feeling of exploration, lore, interesting world. There was none of that shit here, brother. There is like lore for only one enemy in the whole ass world. And it's a, it's a fucking Terramorph. I mean, it was interesting, but why do I go to... It's a game about exploration. And when you go to random plants to explore them, there is plants with no lore. There is animals with no lore. There is plants with no lore. You just explore and you get nothing. You explore for space rocks with no lore. There is no lore in this goddamn game. That's what pissed me off so much about it. The combat is okay. It's fine. The characters, the companions are dog shit. They're all the same character with different genders, I guess. The robot's cool. I like the robot. But yeah, fuck this shit. Be more careful I was so annoyed future. with this game, brother. Otherwise, you'll find yourself traveling alone. I, I, got, I have to get that out of my system. You and I? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. The second most entertaining thing in this game is joining the pirate faction as a double agent. I didn't and in do the that. Process, becoming a triple agent. I have chosen to join the war okay. on terror. On the side of terror, <laughs> I can play entire missions without shooting a single shot. Because guess what? Half the entire game is now friendly to me. I watch caravans oh. get lit up with the same interest as a youth in the projects witnessing a drive-by. The streets give and the streets take. Story. I've had paranoid hallucinations with more coherence than the plot of this oh, game. Spoiler, shit. it's Skyrim and space you must become starborn to you. no listen skyrim is skyrim was semi-interesting this game was not the magical fusro da to kill parfenax who in this case is other starborn from other universes that you <laughs> yeah, must I never got that to far go to i guess another universe and start new game plus multiverse theory is appealing to fans of rick and morty because it implies the existence of a dimension where you haven't been molested there's copium online or you get laid somewhere in another dimension, but we all know how that's gonna go. That there's differences between universes and no run is the same. Yes, one place in the game changes. The emissary is always whoever dies in your current run. And there's a universe where Sarah is a potted plant. Oh, shit. This is the best universe, best universe because yeah. she doesn't talk. Yet, I heard some people <laughs> even romanced this creature. If you find such dialogue captivating, I recommend intimacy Damn. with a drywall. My favorite part of the story was attending a funeral oh, it's only it. to interrupt it by star... There's another companion. They interrupt introduced this character as like a what was the dude from star wars with the ship yeah i remember i haven't watched star wars in like forever like a rogue character somebody that is good but he's a little bit rough around the edges very rough around the edges and what does he end up being just a fucking goody two-shoes brother come on man he's not even funny a I was hoping for Varric from involved, Dragon Age, but... essential NPC, so the shootout will never Dumbass. end. Question. When we have an infinite amount of universes, that means God, we have no consequences. Dick. Anything we do can be undone by walking through a portal. So why can't we kill essential NPCs? Why yeah, even that, have a setting can't. if you're not going to make use of it? This aggravates me to no end because everyone I want to shoot is a higher entity made of light. For example, Damn. there's a side quest where a 200-year-old ship from Earth, developed before the invention of a grav drive, has reached the planet resort of Paradiso. You oh, negotiate shit. on their behalf and that are given three options. One, send every colonist to work as an indentured slave for the corporation. Two, pay Damn. out of pocket for a grav drive and send them to bother someone else. Or three, <laughs> eliminate the last practicing Jew in the universe. I'm not making this up. There's a colonist on board uh -huh. who's preserved Hebrew rabbinical teachings. And the third option is the corporation asking you to destroy the ship. What the Austrian painter Damn. started, Todd will finish. What is this quest design? You present me with three terrible options and my immediate response is to shoot up the board of directors <laughs> but i can't oh my I'm god they can't die because the talent in this company has dried up and left brother come on time Todd. Ago. but it doesn't matter because bethesda spits out a game every few years for their target audience dads i get it you have two kids you're in your mid-30s and you have time Damn, for exactly boring. three games a year i don't hey listen we're all i'm gonna I'm be honest with you you have two kids you're in your mid-30s people that are like at this point of boarding are weird to me like listen bro if if you can touch your head and you touch the actual skin of your head it's done brother just just accept that shit shave that shit you would look way better like don't be going around like a jew in hiding or i don't know what to call you like they have those little caps don't do that you, you look so weird and it doesn't look good it is done brother you're done
priorities and just accept for exactly free games a year your hair is on judge. We're all it's busy. done with life support no life criticism because the people you're arguing with don't have that much time or investment they see a crater they soy pog and then they leave that's why if somebody defends this game don't give them Bro, a hard time there is nothing to defend on this game it's an exploration game where the exploration sucks there is nothing to explore everything you explore leads to the same things no nothing is handcrafted for you to explore in this game and that's like pretty much the only thing you want in an exploration game they have it hard enough already stuff. between uh, beating their spouse and their children and they Damn. still say men can't multitask Ooh. gameplay this game features challenging and intriguing Should puzzles the such as fit the shape into the shaped hole and oh. replace the battery considering the majority of xbox players have never replaced <laughs> a smoke alarm this is a novel concept huh? as it requires higher abstraction to deduce that the ubiquitous chirp in the hallway is in some way quantum connected to the set of duracell batteries you hold Hold in your hand. Clearly, I didn't pay enough attention during character creation. As once I finished the game, I was very surprised to hear my character's voice. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. Not like damn operations in the future are good. Like I missed anything? All the perks are garbage. Wanted is one of two perks that actually does anything because you get bounty hunters chasing. Yeah, hey, I had the that. Yeah. Kid stuff, which gives Americans the experience. I did of this one as well. Loving parents that aren't divorced. For the nation, holding the world record in broken homes, a stable family. Damn, really? Wait, wait, wait. How real is that shit? That aren't divorced. For the nation, holding the world record in. Twenty-two percent. Almost a quarter. Damn. Hey, work. Bulgaria is light blue. Seven percent. Damn, I must be unlucky as fuck. My parents are divorced. Shit. Broken homes, a stable family, is science fiction. I spent a bunch of time fuck. modding guns, only to find out that guns unlucky. don't scale whatsoever. Can I go to another on universe, level please? Weapons are a waste of time. Let me tell you how you're actually supposed to do it. Uh -huh. You fly into a level seventy-five zone, but okay. instead of being insta-killed, you cast Creator's Peace, which makes enemies drop their guns. You you're bring the them gun. Back tweak them on a workbench and now you no longer have to complain about bullet sponges personally i enjoyed shipbuilding shit that would be pretty useful that would have been useful to know yes yes it is so good the shipbuilding is so nice it's kind of convoluted at first because you gotta build blocks and then attach shit to blocks and some blocks don't attach some to shit some stuff and then some plants don't sell certain parts but it's so fun of a hollow ship exploit, some but I didn't really need it because all I ever do is one shot the engine with electromagnetic and board their ship. After which Damn. I disarm them with creator's piece and individually fist fight the entire crew. That it's sounds really so fun. annoying and to if do. I can't parallel self, uh, I can role play as if we're having a civil dispute <laughs> at the Bangladeshi border. I found out companions don't use ammunition, which is convenient because of course. for some reason it's a game of course they everything don't. except ammunition, some of which is highly specific and not sold by most vendors mm. in contrast crafting ingredients are sold by the dozen trivializing their collection and yeah, you can mine any incentive you had to find them yourself so i thought it would be interesting to try make my outposts self-sufficient bro i did the same thing and then you find out that no planet has all the minerals you need so you have to make uh stuff that travels from planet to planet and it's it's a pain the ass for what you get I, it was so not worth it. I wasted like three hours just making a base and using I only it. resources I could find. It took me two full days before I found a Damn. planetary source of sealant. For reference, this is a common organic ingredient necessary for most structures. Okay, I did not have that problem. It? Middle of nowhere on a toxic bio, meaning I needed to reach the bottom of a science tree and have free tears into planetary habitation before I could make planetary habitation. So, in case you're ever tempted to do what I did, <laughs> don't do it. Don't. I remember yeah, don't. once I it's saw a live leaks video of some Chinese farmers throwing pigs into an open pit and setting them on fire with kerosene. Starfield, allows you to not only recreate this video, but use it huh? for infinite experience. What I did was set up several alien breeding facilities okay. and boxed them in. Then I built a macro script to throw incendiary grenades at set intervals, firebombing all the cows, <laughs> waiting for them to respawn only to firebomb them again. I can leave- Sit, what is wrong with you? What is- why? First off, how does your brain come up with the need to do this shit? Like, am I, you're like, hey, okay, I need infinite XP. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go fight the enemies, right? Just fight the enemies. They respawn and go to different plants, fight them again, it's procedurally generated, so there's something to fight. How does he come up with build a village for animals, have the animals inside, build a script to throw Molotovs inside of the center of the village and kill them?
leave my desk and come back several levels higher. Generally, God however, it, that post development is a hellish experience, and that's because the game has no system to track how much you need and what you need. Your best bet for memorizing a recipe is using pen and paper. The alternative to that is jumping across load screens, walking to the vendor, buying what you assume Everything. is enough, returning to the outpost, only to find out you're missing like two adhesive and need to go all yeah. the way back. This game is an exercise in how many load screens can you tolerate? To be honest, I didn't have that much of a problem because I had played Fallout 4 and in that game, pretty much the same things that you deconstruct for adhesive and all the minerals is kind of the same in this game, which makes me think Bethesda is even lazier than I thought. Fucking hell before Sheesh. choosing to end it all. No wonder nobody ever got that Steam <laughs> refund. We spent two Damn. whole hours 600 hours in this game. There's a lot of these transitional animations and it's <sighs> not that they're painfully goddamn slow. It's that I can't skip them. Yeah, I can't. understand that this is it's a, a loading small screen indie problem. company and maybe resources are stretched thin between uh, the... I think it's a loading screen. That's why you can't skip it. If if you can skip it, like, there's no reason not to skip it. Award winning dialogue and the Ooh. NPCs that hit you with that fluoride yeah, stare. Bitch. But when the solution is so simple and yeah. obvious, you can't help but ask, what's going on at Bethesda? Despite having no access to the construction <laughs> set, the modding community has managed to fix many of the issues. Yeah. However, even if they do release the tool set six months down the line, I don't really trust this company to not screw me over. Remember, the hey, if anybody's still playing this, are there any good mods? Is it worth it? Have they fixed anything? Have they added anything? I don't think I've heard of any DLCs, so probably everything's still the same only shit. The only reason we don't have paid mods is because of pushback. Believe me, they'll try again. The only There's not paid mods in this game I'm is the release of a full construction set. Because the only way the fans could save this game is to wipe it clean and make True. something else. Look, I figured it out. I know why I'm so angry. I'm why not angry that? at the game. It's not even that bad. I'm uh, angry because I paid- uh, When you say not that bad, explain, because to me it was pretty bad. I'm gonna be honest, if I had to rate this game, I'd give it a maximum of like five. And that's boring as hell. Eight a hundred bucks for it. The king of a chess Damn. club has done it again. Each time I- I'm gonna say how much I paid, okay? I tell myself- I live in Bulgaria, no, so not fuck this time, But I already know, Cod's gonna tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies, and each yeah. time, I listen. I was scroll six, by the way. Polarizing things, but in truth, I just needed a video because I signed a lot of contracts while drunk. Oh, shit. So don't take anything I say seriously. God damn it, it's sir. all bait. But what if it isn't? What if it's actually my unfiltered hey, dog? There is the only enemy with a with Lord in this game, by the way. This is it. Every other creature you meet just has a name. This is it. This is it shit opinion as always more content to come because hey, i'm Buzzmore. legally obligated a warm thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos you're all truly wonderful have a good one all right well i hope y'all enjoyed it let me know what your experience with starfield was did anybody enjoy it did anybody hate it and i'll see y'all next time like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff and have a good day everybody Bye bye